This so, shit is and disgusting. Thank goodness for that. Oh, oh! Nah, this can't be real. No, no way. She looks like fucking little Kim, bro. Madonna. And I bet you she's probably like early 20s, huh? This is how much lip filler I'm putting in my lips tonight. Wait, you're I doing it by yourself? I can do it myself. No. Uh, hell no. Oh you really my. got people out here at home self-injecting themselves in the name of beauty? Is this real? So filler Yo, that's causes what I said. This is a brand new study. So what do you do now? If you have filler, do you need to get it removed? Like, even now, if you're perfect, you're kind of oh, Bro, what is oh. that? Man, is out here looking like Miss Potato Head with them big ass lips. Like, I wish I was lying, but I'm not. Who told this man to do this to himself? The migration. So what you're looking at here is an MRI image. Now the area that is green is the hyaluronic acid filler. Bro, is that shit Oh my god, the filler is going to the face. Now, I don't know if this was injected in the face or if it went from the lips to the face, but holy shit. Really trapped in the faces of people who get Botox? Have we really gotten to the point in society to where people just can't accept themselves for who and what they are? You are still stuck in the filler era. Listen up, because filler is over. I am done. The overinflated, dermally filled explosion that we've seen over the last 10 years. Hey, yo, this right this here. This is your fault, though. Cause it's like, why are you doing this? Okay, let me say this. If you wanna get lip fillers to fill in like empty spaces in your lips or whatever, what the fuck ever? But if you wanna get lip fillers to make it bigger and look like that, it's, it's come on, dude. Here is like DSL on steroids. This girl is out here looking look like good. she just completed the Kylie Jenner challenge from like nine years ago. Why would you do this to yourself? This shit is and disgusting. Thank for that. Oh, oh, what the? Oh! Nah, this can't be real. What the fuck is this? No, no way. She looks like fucking little Kim, bro. Madonna. And I bet you she's probably like early 20s, dude. Oh my goodness! What is that? Nah, y'all gotta stop with this now, bro. I'm gonna need the ladies and the gays to calm down with all this Botox. Cause clearly, if you're out here injecting all this Botox into your face to the point to where you're out here looking like the Botox brothers, and if you're not familiar with them, here's what they look like. Apparently, they died from COVID-19 because they didn't want the vaccine to each their own. But clearly, in these photos, as you can see, they went ah. ham over the years, and this is what they originally looked like at the bottom end. I'm pretty sure back then they had extensive work. They don't even look bad at the bottom here, bro. What the fuck wrong with y'all? Done to their faces as well. Good God. Some of you gals were looking a bit weird. You heard me, girls. Fillers have failed. What we were sold as a solution to small lips, big noses, round faces. Injection options for round face shape. Cheek filler to contour and lift the mid face. Chin filler to elongate the face and lengthen the chin. And it doesn't look good. What a load of crap. You know what? But at this point, uh, all of this is just getting out of hand. Because it seems to me that in the name of beauty in vain and wanting to preserve youth, people are out here actively killing themselves, harming their bodies, and injecting toxic chemicals oh into the largest organ on uh, your body, which is your skin, uh, which inevitably uh, leaks oh into your bloodstream and probably oh causes all kinds of mental illnesses and diseases that might just end up killing you one day. This shit is sad. I am getting... Oh my god, y'all, I'm so sorry y'all have to see this shit, bro. Oh my gosh. But my lips dissolved. I'm going to get my lip filler dissolved. So excited about taking these fillers. Yeah, China. We all know. Result. The overinflated, dermally filled explosion that we've seen over the last 10 years has finally come to an end. Thank, thank God, bro. I'm so glad everybody is like taking their fillers out. Because it's like, bro, it was never a good move in the first fucking place, bro. This is the type of shit I would see in my nightmares. Like, if I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't move, I bet this is what I would see as my sleep paralysis demon. Good God. Fast forward to 2015, and, and like, Kylie like Jenner finally comes clean that her inflated lips weren't actually just down to lip liner or puberty like she had insisted Obviously, years, she got fillers. The result of filler. Google searches we knew for lip this, fillers though. increased by 11,300%. Is that a thing? In just 24 hours. Like, we, you can look at her lips and tell this shit is fucking filler, bro. Yeah, no, this is natural. I just put on lip liner. 
Bro, one side of your lip is raised above the fucking other and it's super duper smooth. That's fucking the filler. We know it is, bro. Chart. See, this is why back in the day, back in 2017, now. I believe specifically, I had a video that blew up about Kylie Jenner being fake as hell. And in that specific video that is now deleted, I can't find it anywhere. Sorry, it was in my old computer and I believe I had to delete it deleted because YouTube was being a bitch. But in that video, I was like, <laughs> bro, this woman is made out of this plastic. This is the first she time one of Maury's videos has gotten taken down. I did a reaction to him like a few, uh, I think like a few days ago or maybe a week ago. And I tried to credit him in the description and I couldn't find the video. So I just had to credit it's his channel. Real. Her cheeks, her face, her eyebrows, her butt, her boobs, her hair. It's all Everything. manufactured. And here you have young women, old women, teen women out here trying to copy and assimilate something that's not even. I think, see, and this is why I low-key think that the, the, the Kardashians is one of the worst thing to happen to young women. Because it's like, bro... Y'all all, all want to look like the Kardashians, but they all have surgery. Every single one of them is fake. I think the only one who is not is Kendall Jenner, bro. I think she is the only Kardashian that doesn't have anything, bro. Even real. Like, she might as well have just came out of a factory. I'm getting lip filler for the first time. With me to get lip filler. Today, I am getting more lip injections. To get more. lip filler today, I'm a bit more juicy. That's what I'm saying. They all want the duck lip shit. That, didn't, that doesn't even, like... Oh the thing is, God. all, all right. those girls were in their mid to early 20s, sometimes even late mm -hmm. teens, trying to inject their face with fillers and Botox when they don't even have any wrinkles yet. Like, God damn, you're exactly. not even 30 yet. And you're already out here trying to ruin your face? By the time exactly. you get to 30, then what? About to be out here looking like a mixture of whatever the hell this is, Miss Potato Head and the Botox Brothers all in one. I might be walking down the street one day and you turn the corner and I have a heart attack and now I got to go to the hospital <laughs> and pay a $2,000 bill just because you wanted to be out here looking like Frankenstein's bad and bougie Oof. little cousin. Like the fuck? Look at this poor fella who thought it was a good idea to inject filler into his own lips by himself at home whilst drunk. I'm currently like a little bit fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, does that lips lady have filler or no? I gotta look at her lips. lips. I really don't want to study her lips or anything, but. Okay, so is it too late to change my answer, idiot. ladies and gentlemen? Is it too late for me to pick thought daughter instead of gay son because. <laughs> Is it too late to choose thought daughter over gay son? I'm crying. At dog. this point, it's already bad enough I got my son being the bottom out here. Like, bro, I raised you better than that. At least be the dom. But now you're going to be out here under my roof trying to inject Botox or filler, whatever the hell they call it, into your lips so you can have more adequate DSLs? Yeah, man, just give me the thought daughter, bro. And this oh. lady who who decided to inject not only her own lips at home by herself, but also her chin, her jawline, and her boyfriend. Okay, so now that mom's having a freak out behind the camera, we're gonna do Jonathan's lips. Yeah, bruh. I, I don't know how this man got to the point to where he was laying on her bed, allowing her to inject unvetted foreign substance. What the fuck? I would never in my life let somebody put Botox or fillers in me. Pause. Doesn't matter who it is, bro. Is into his face, all in the name of love or lust. Maybe both. Fuck the boy no. is clearly down bad. Stand up. So here we all were happily pumping out. Yeah, her lips are normal. Injecting our cheeks and looking mighty fine until something went wrong. We noticed that instead of looking snatched and plump and glowing and youthful, we were looking old. old. Instead of looking sculpted, our faces were expanding. Our faces were looking fuller, but in the wrong areas. Areas that we never injected to begin with. What the hell is going on? What's going on is your body is rejecting the chemical slop, the toxic waste. Mm -hmm. Our bodies didn't evolve to have this stuff under our skin, even on top of our skin. This is why when you get tattoos Jesus. slowly over time, not only only will tattoos fade, but under the skin, something called macrophages will literally form a protective barrier to shield your body from the foreign invader or substance known as ink or the tattoo that you're putting on your skin. Your body does not know what the hell this is or what it's trying to do. And all it's trying to do is keep you alive, which is a good thing. And the mm -hmm. same thing applies to filler and Botox. This shit is not healthy for you. I'll share a story with you. Literally last week, I was operating on a patient. We go off to the surgery, getting into the- Imagine into the plastic- Imagine fillers, the, the filler wave is getting so bad that the plastic surgeon is risking his own business income telling niggas to stop. That's crazy. Tissues, and suddenly I just see this, this gel-like substance oozing out of the tissues. Down around the jawline, up around the cheeks, 
and it's like fresh filler. And so I asked her, I said, yeah, you know, when was the last time you had filler put in your face? She said, the last time was like five years ago. It was amazing that five years later, in the very tissues was this fresh oozing filler coming out. I mean, literally, it's almost like you can, you can press on it and it would ooze out of the tissues like a sponge. Yeah, that's just completely disgusting. That's and I genuinely so nasty. think women, men, teens, 20s, old people, senior citizens, whoever the hell you are, probably should not be doing this type of stuff to your body unless it's medically necessary. Like if you mm. were maybe a burn victim, a Fucking car crash hell. victim, your face is completely disfigured or maybe something happened to where you're incredibly insecure about a part of your face and it disables you from a normal everyday life. Unless you're one of those types of people, maybe you shouldn't be doing this type of stuff because clearly at this point in time there are better alternatives and in the long run this may permanently disfigure you i don't know it just seems like why do this to yourself if you don't have to in any case though thoughts opinions down below obviously like the video you got any other topics like these are the reason it pisses me off is because these are like young ass people like sometimes they're fucking 18 you're still not even done developing about or react to instagram twitter discord and, and tiktok in the it, description bro. down below all links like you're getting always DM me. filler injected under your eyes do you know how dangerous that is do you know how dangerous it is to get filler injected under your eyes and yeah so next time everybody stay sane out there yo this video is insane dude oh my gosh bro please y'all please for the love of god please stop the filler shit bro please